Well, hello friends. I did not plan on making this video or this decision just a couple months ago, but it's funny how things change and uh, you never really quite know what's going to come up, what's going to change your mind and the intuitive insights, at least for me, that I've had about what I should do when. <laughs> I know some people like to make all of their decisions very analytical, very logical, and while of course I weigh that in my decision making as well, I have found that miracles have happened by following my intuition. And even if I don't know exactly why I truly feel that something is right for me, if I just go with that feeling and make my decisions from that place, it always works out in phenomenal ways. <laughs> but for the time being, I decided that it was best for me to head back to Canada. Uh, I'm going to Calgary where my mom lives and I guess where I technically live <laughs> considering uh, I left everything in Toronto. So even though it's the middle of winter, I think it's actually gonna work out great because the end of January is my mom's birthday. Uh, middle of February is my birthday. And I also feel, you know, a lot better seeing my parents uh, after I've gotten my COVID test done here in Toronto. I literally just got it done this morning. And then I'm quarantining for two weeks at my mom's place. And then right after that, I'm going to my dad's place in Saskatchewan. So I've had like, you know, very few contacts. I've been tested. So I feel totally fine, you know, seeing my friends and family after I've had those tests done. So I am planning to be in Canada for about a month and a half. I am just going to stay in Alberta and Saskatchewan. Uh, for my birthday, I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to be doing, but if Alberta does have their ski hills open, I think it would actually be a fun birthday to be up in the mountains, go snowboarding. It's like my favorite sport. So I think it's still gonna be a very good time, even though I hear Canada obviously has way more restrictions than uh, the Balkans <laughs> where I have been for the last six months. And it's gonna be interesting to go back to Canada because if it's anything like what I've you know, been reading on social media and online is people have so much fear, you know, around this whole situation. And obviously I'm not saying it's not serious, but it's like going into a twilight zone when uh, you've been here in the Balkans where it's so lax and uh, people really don't take it that seriously to you know, then go back to Canada where it seems like people are very afraid of doing anything. So yeah, it's just gonna be interesting to go back to that <laughs> and see <laughs> if that's actually you know the kind of environment that I want to spend too much time in because I am you know planning on leaving fairly soon after I get back, but most likely after that, it's gonna be quite a long time until I go back to Canada. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what is happening next. I'm still gonna be uh, producing content while I am in Canada because so many of you actually <laughs> said from my last year's content when I was in like Saskatchewan and Alberta that you really enjoyed, you know, seeing what life is like in the middle of Canada and the farm where my dad lives. So I will definitely keep producing content while I am there. And then probably by mid-March, we will be back to regular traveling. I have a dream destination that I want to go to after that, but it's actually quite complex to get in there. So I'm not gonna say where that is quite yet because I really don't know if I can go there. But uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated on uh, what's happening. And if you do want like real time updates, my YouTube channel is usually about two weeks behind because of the backlog of editing and getting everything posted on time. So if you want real time updates of what I'm doing when, just follow me on Instagram at Alina McLeod. And in saying all that, I would like to thank you guys for supporting me on this amazing journey. It has been a wild ride the last six months here in the Balkans. Uh, never 
expected to be here, you know, in 2020, 2021, but I feel like it's the best area of the world I could have chosen. It was so much more epic and amazing than I could have planned. And uh, obviously in these crazy times, it has almost been an oasis in comparison to kind of what I hear anyway is happening in other parts of the world. So yeah, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, we have so many more amazing uh, subscribers in this community uh, than we did than before I left on my trip. So I hope that will continue with the content that I am going to produce in 2021. And before we end this video, I thought that I would actually do a sort of montage <laughs> to close off the time that I spent here in the Balkans, kind of include all the different parts of the last six months because they have been truly epic. So thank you guys so much. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic day, keeping healthy, staying safe. I'm sending you lots of love and keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys. Just let me know and I will be Just call on me